Fifty Chow Chow facts every owner should know. Number one, reserved, alert, and independent in nature. The Chow Chow is a medium-sized dog with a distinctive appearance. They stand anywhere between 17 and 20 inches tall, and their weight ranges from 50 to 75 pounds. Number two, the Chow Chow's top skull is notably broad and flat, featuring a moderate stop between the muzzle and skull. This distinctive skull shape, complemented by padded brows, contributes to the breed's regal expression. Number three, Chow Chows possess deep-set, wide-apart, almond-shaped eyes that give them an oriental appearance, contributing to their unique expression. Having dark, clearly visible pupils is crucial for the desired expression and appearance in the breed. Number four, the Chow Chow displays a dignified and somewhat aloof expression, characterized by a prominent brow and a distinctive furrow between the eyes. This expression mirrors the breed's confident and independent nature. Wrinkles on the muzzle are not essential and do not enhance the desired expression. Number five, the Chow Chow's ears are usually small, triangular, and held stiffly erect with a slight forward tilt. This proper ear shape and carriage contributes to the breed's dignified appearance. Ears that flop while the dog moves are strongly undesirable, and having drop ears is a disqualifying trait. Number six, in a Chow Chow, proportions create a square profile with close coupling. The distance from the forechest to the buttocks matches the height at the withers. Serious faults include an unsquare profile, the elbow to ground distance being half the wither's height or the chest not aligning with the elbow tips. Number 7. The breed's nose is ideally large, broad, and black, except in the case of blue or cream chows, where variations in nose color are permissible due to specific color varieties within the breed. However, having a spotted or non-black nose in reds, blacks, and cinnamons is considered a disqualifying fault. Number 8. The Chow Chow ideally has a solid black mouth with black edges on the lips and mostly black mouth tissues. A solid black mouth is considered a desirable trait that enhances the breed's overall appearance. Number 9. New owners to the Chow Chow breed may be surprised by their distinctively colored tongue. As puppies, they have pink tongues, but as they grow, their tongues darken to a striking blue-black shade resembling a lizard's tongue. This unusual tongue color can also be seen in the Chinese Sharpei. Number 10. The Chow Chow has a sturdy and compact body with strong muscles. The dog appears square and robust due to this broad, deep chest and well-sprung ribs. The front ribs narrow at the bottom, allowing for smooth shoulder placement. Number 11. Chow Chows possess a neck that is strong, well-muscled, and gracefully arched. They have sufficient length to support the head, allowing them to be carried proudly above the top line when the dog is standing at attention. This neck structure adds to the breed's regal and dignified appearance. Number 12. The Chow Chow's four quarters are characterized by strong, well-muscled shoulders with moderately close together shoulder blades forming distinct angles with the spine and upper arm. These structural elements contribute to the breed's balanced and sturdy appearance. Number 13. These dogs exhibit a straight, strong, and level top line from the withers to the root of the tail, maintaining their square build. Additionally, the tail is set high and consistently carried closely to the back following the spine's line, which is a characteristic feature of the breed. Number 14. The Chow Chow possesses round, compact, and cat-like feet with thick toe pads, offering a solid foundation for their structure and gait. These characteristics contribute to the breed's overall functional and graceful forequarters. Number 15. The gait of the Chow Chow is a significant indicator of confirmation and soundness, characterized by a sound, straight, agile, brief, quick, and powerful movement. This breed exhibits a gait that is free from any lumbering or awkwardness, reflecting their physical prowess and breed standards. Number 16. Chow Chows come in two double-coated types, rough and smooth. The rough coat features a dense, coarse outer layer with a soft undercoat, forming a rough around the head and neck. In contrast, the smooth coat lacks a rough, featuring a dense, and smooth outer coat with an undercoat. Number 17. This breed can be found in five approved colors, red, black, blue, cinnamon, and cream. These colors should be solid or have lighter shadings in specific areas like the rough, tail, and featherings. All these acceptable colors are evaluated equally in judging. Number 18. While an adult human typically has 32 teeth, dogs usually have 42 teeth. But what sets the Chow Chow apart is that they have two additional teeth during their puppyhood, which eventually fall out as they grow their adult set of teeth. Number 19. Overall, the Chow Chow is a healthy breed with a lifespan typically ranging from 9 to 15 years. However, like all dog breeds, they are susceptible to developing certain illnesses and diseases.
Number 20, chow chows may face specific health concerns, including eyelid entropion, hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, allergies, and issues related to thyroid function. Regular veterinary checkups and proactive care can help in early detection and management of these potential health issues. Number 21, in addition to the mentioned health issues, chow chows can also be prone to eye problems like cataracts, dystochiasis, and glaucoma. They may also be at risk for stomach cancer and bloat. Number 22, chow chows have a unique and visually striking walk, characterized by straight back legs that resemble ballerinas a point. This unique gait, combined with their fluffiness and curly tail, gives the breed a one-of-a-kind charm. But it also means that owners should be watchful for signs of hip dysplasia in older chows due to their leg structure. Number 23, an important fact for chow chow owners to be aware of is the breed's aversion to water. Despite their history as working dogs in China, they were not employed near riverbanks or shorelines. This is because their distinctive double coat, which is uniquely fluffy, can pose a hazard in the water. Number 24, these dogs stand out among popular dog breeds for their aloof and standoffish demeanor. Unlike many dogs that eagerly greet owners at the door or enthusiastically approach other dogs, chows are more inclined to hang back and observe, displaying a somewhat feline-like disposition. Number 25, Chow Chows have garnered a reputation for being aloof and distrustful of strangers at times, and this behavior has caused certain insurance companies to deny coverage to Chow Chow owners due to concerns about potential liability and the perceived risk of aggressive behavior toward unfamiliar people. These dogs are often seen as one-person dogs, forming a strong bond with their primary owner and sometimes being reserved or even aloof towards others. Number 26, Chow Chows generally have a calm and quiet demeanor, but when provoked, they can bark loudly and demonstrate a powerful bite. These traits, combined with their natural territorial instincts, make them well-suited for guardian roles. Number 27, the Chow Chow carries a rich heritage as a versatile working dog, serving as a hunter, herder, cart puller, and home protector. This history has left its mark on the breed, evident in their robust, square-built, unique stilted gait, and protective temperament, which continue to define today's companion Chow Chows. Number 28, the origin of the Chow Chow breed is somewhat uncertain, but it is believed that they have been in existence for approximately 2,000 to 3,000 years. Historical records indicate the presence of dogs resembling Chows as far back as the 11th century, and even Marco Polo mentioned them in his travel writings. Number 29, some theories suggest that Chows could have resulted from the crossbreeding of Tibetan Mastiffs with Samoyeds in northern Siberia. Others argue that Chows might have actually influenced the development of other breeds like the Samoyed, the Norwegian Alcount, the Kishant, and the Pomeranian. Number 30, there's also a speculation that Siberian dogs could have migrated to Mongolia and potentially influenced the development of the Chow Chow in China, possibly through Mongols. The precise historical lineage of the Chow Chow remains a subject of ongoing discussion and research, as the breed's origins are not definitively established. Number 31, the Chow Chow breed originally from the northern regions has been most commonly associated with southern China, particularly around Canton. These bear-like dogs found their way to Tibetan monasteries where they were welcomed and appreciated. Appreciated. Their presence in the region reflect their historical journey and importance in various parts of China and beyond. Number 32, the recent discovery of bar relief dating back to the Han Dynasty 150-200 BC provides solid evidence confirming the historical use of the Chow Chow as a hunting dog in ancient China during that era. Number 33, in China, the Chow Chow is known as Songshi Quan. The name Chow Chow originated from the pidgin English term used in 18th century to describe a mix of East origin items, including living creatures. This catch-all term was used for various knickknacks and curiosities, with dogs unintentionally included due to merchants' lack of proper labeling. As a result, the breed inherited the name Chow Chow from its practice. Number 34, the Chow Chow breed was officially recognized by the Kennel Club in 1894. Following this recognition, the breed gained popularity and became fashionable in the show ring, further solidifying its position in the world of dog breeding and exhibitions. Number 35, the American Kennel Club formally granted the breed its recognition in 1903. This significant event marked a pivotal moment in the breed's history, highlighting their evolving standards and growing acceptance within the world of purebred dogs. Number 36, the Chow Chow is officially categorized within in the American Kennel Club's non-sporting group. This group encompasses a diverse range of breeds, and alongside the Chow Chow, you'll find other breeds like the Dalmatian, the Boston Terrier, the Bulldog, and the Bichon Frise, among various others. Number 37, currently, the American Kennel Club registers approximately 10,000 Chow Chows each year, whereas the Canadian Kennel Club registers only around 350 of these dogs. These registration numbers reflect the breed's popularity and presence in the respective countries. 
number 38. At various points in history, Chow Chows held esteemed positions as the noble companions of Chinese aristocracy. According to the Chow Chow Club, in the 7th century, a Tang emperor held a deep affection for these dogs. Historical accounts suggest that he maintained a remarkable 2,500 Chows, using them for hunting and engaging in various sporting activities. Number 39. Similarly, during the 8th century in the Tang Dynasty, an emperor is reported to have maintained a kennel facility housing an astonishing 5,000 chows, with a permanent staff of twice that number to care for these regal dogs. Number 40. Throughout history, Chow Chows played diverse roles, serving as guards, haulers, and hunters. In their densely populated homeland, their ancestors even served as a source of food during times of protein scarcity. Number 41. An ancient nickname for the breed is the edible dog, and one theory regarding the origin of the name Chow suggests it may be linked to the Cantonese word for edible. This historical context sheds light on the breed's multifaceted past and their significance in various aspects of Chinese society. Number 42. Chow Chows typically have small litters, with an average size ranging from 3 to 5 puppies. While larger litters are possible, they are considered rare for this breed. The size of the litter can vary depending on factors such as the individual dog's health and genetics. Number 43. Chow Chow puppies are indeed considered a costly breed. Typically, purchasing a Chow Chow puppy from reputable breeders can range between $1,200 and $2,000. However, for puppies from bloodlines with a history of winning show competitions and superior quality, breeders may may charge up to $4,000 or more. Number 44. In Dr. Stanley Korn's ranking of dog breeds based on intelligence, the Chow Chow ranks 76th out of 79 breeds. Dr. Korn's study revealed that training a Chow Chow to perform a task typically required an average of 80 to 100 attempts before the dog fully understood the command. Furthermore, even after grasping the command, Chow Chows had only a 25% chance of retaining and remembering what they had been taught. Number 45. Martha Stewart has been a proud owner of several Chow Chows, frequently showcasing them on her television show and website. One of her Chows, a champion named Genghis Khan, affectionately known as GK to his friends, even competed at the prestigious Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. Number 46. In the 1820s, Chow Chows were intriguingly displayed at the London Zoo under the name Wild Dogs of China. However, their popularity in the Western world didn't truly take off until later in the century when Queen Victoria, a passionate dog enthusiast, acquired one of these dogs. Her endorsement played a pivotal role in introducing and popularizing the Chow Chow breed in the West. Number 47. One Christmas, Walt Disney surprised his wife Lillian with a pet Chow Chow. To make the presentation more exciting, he placed the puppy inside a hat box. At first, Lillian was a bit puzzled by the box, but her disappointment turned to joy when she discovered the puppy inside. This heartwarming moment from the real-life story later inspired a similar scene in the movie Lady and the Tramp, where Lady is also given as a Christmas gift. Number 48. The renowned psychoanalyst Sigmund Freud had a Chow Chow named Jofi, who often attended his therapy sessions. This fluffy dog had a remarkable talent for making children feel at ease, and interestingly, Jofi even assisted Freud in analyzing his patients. Jofi had an uncanny ability to discern which patients were nervous and would only approach those who remained calm, offering a unique perspective in Freud's therapeutic work. Number 49. Chow Chows have found their way into the hearts of various notable individuals, including President Calvin Coolidge, who cherished a black chow named Timmy, and Elvis Presley, who shared his life with a chow chow named Get Low. Author Vanna Bonta, on the other hand, had a trio of chow chows, Sky, Seraph, and Beowulf, with Beowulf making an appearance as a fictional character in her book, Flight. Number 50. Janet Jackson also had a fondness for the breed, owning a chow chow named Buckwit. Moreover, K-pop artist Park Junhee has affectionately named his chow chow Lion, while YouTuber Minnie Minter and his wife, singer Talia Mar, have also embraced their chow chow Mushu into their lives. These instances reflect the endearing appeal of chow chows among celebrities and dog enthusiasts worldwide. Alright guys, and which of these chow chow facts intrigued you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.